Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for joining on as we embark on the first of many upcoming webinars. My name is Grant Johnson, and I am the head of client success and account management here at Handwritten, and I'm thrilled to be your host for today's session. Before we dive into today's discussion, allow me to introduce you to David Wax, the CEO and founder of Handwritten. With nearly two decades of expertise in customer outreach and engagement, David's journey commenced with the establishment of Sellit. The pioneering platform sent out millions of text messages for some of the world's largest brands, including Chicago Tribune, Abercrombie & Finch, and Sam's Club. In 2012, Sellit was later acquired by an interactive marketing company, and after spending two years with the new owners, David left and started Handwritten. During this webinar, he will elaborate more on why Handwritten was started. And with that, please allow me and join, please join me in welcoming David Wax. Thank you, Grant, for that kind introduction and, and a warm welcome to you all. Um, all partners, prospects who have taken the time to join us here today. I'm truly excited uh, to, and, uh, to have the opportunity to share insights, experiences, and the incredible journey that Handwritten's been on and hopefully answer some of your questions too. Now, this is the very first webinar we've ever done, so I want to apologize in advance for any te technical hiccups we have or just general nervousness. There are a bunch of you on the call, which is great, but this is our first go at this. Additionally, I want to provide you an overview of what to expect in future webinars. So if I can figure out how to do that, we are going to go straight into there. So today we're doing a general overview of handwritten. We're gonna provide some case studies and some information as to why I started the company, the market need I saw. Um, later this month, we're gonna do a webinar specifically for real estate and mortgage as so many of you are in that industry, we thought it would make sense just to cover that. Um, coming in September, September 7th and the 27th, we have two more scheduled. One is custom cards and bulk uploads. Those are two of our most commonly asked questions on how to do that. And then on the 27th, we will cover um, solutions strictly for automotive. October, we're gonna talk about Salesforce. We do have a new plugin for Salesforce. I believe we've been in the, the Salesforce marketplace or the app exchange for seven years, but we're coming out with a new app exchange add-in in, in short form. It's already code complete. We're just waiting to get approved by Salesforce. And then we'll also talk about how to automate everything using Zapier. We're big fans of Zapier. In fact, I'm featured in a commercial for Zapier. Um, and we want to take the time to show you how to use it to automate parts of your business, of course, including handwritten notes. November, we're going to talk about how handwritten works with nonprofits, including our great new BlackBot integration. And uh, we'll also talk about birthday cards and prospecting. Come December, uh, as you'll already be aware of uh, bulk uploads, hopefully you have all your questions answered there. We might do a, a third webinar just on bulk uploads to get you all ready for the holidays, but we will also cover our customer outreach survey results, which has some great insights in it, as well as a deep dive into Shopify. So that's just a look at what to expect moving forward. On our website, there is now a tab under resources where you can see the schedule so no need to write it all down here and then as we find the actual dates we will provide uh, registration links there too so feel free to check back there and then of course expect emails from our uh, email team on all of that so before we begin i want to take you through a very brief story this is actually a true story it comes from one of our clients in pennsylvania but it really hits home for me and I hope it hits home for all of you. Imagine you're a piano tuner. You only need to tune someone's piano once a year. The piano stays tuned for the rest of the year. After coming into their home and tuning their piano and thanking them in person for the opportunity to enter their home, you then set up an automation using Zapier. Perhaps you were on our webinar where we explained how to do that, where it automatically sends that client a handwritten note thanking them for the opportunity to tune their piano. A year later, when you come back to their house, imagine your surprise when you see that very handwritten note, not only open, not only of being read, but actually standing up on the piano. 
This is the experience our client has time and time again with these notes. Not only are they open, not only are they read, but they're treasured. And that's the unique benefit of handwritten notes. Now, I came from the text messaging space. I'll talk about that in a little bit. We'd send millions of text messages. I highly doubt a single of those text messages has ever been printed out somehow and stuck to a piano or another piece of furniture in what I call the fancy room of the home, you know, your most prized room in the home on your most prized possession, your piano. So it's just very unique. Handwritten notes hold a very unique um, place in our hearts. And that's only becoming more so now that everything's turning digital. So just a little bit about me. I am the father of two boys and two poodles. I've become a poodle lover. Um, I write for Inc.com. You can find my articles there occasionally from time to time. And uh, again, I started my first messaging company back in 2004. That was for real estate. It started with a service called House for Sale, and then we expanded into more general purpose um, customer retention marketing through text messaging. And I ran that company until 2012, sold it, and worked for the new owners for two years. And that's when I really saw that I was a part of the problem. So we're going to talk about that problem in a second, but I just want to provide you an agenda and an overview for today's meeting here. Um, first of all, I want to provide uh, an overview of the current state of messaging. Then we're going to talk a little bit about handwritten. We are actually going to reveal on this webinar a new and highly asked for feature. I'm not going to tell you what that is. You're going to have to stay tuned to that. It has actually been live on the website for a couple weeks now, but we've never announced it, so you'll be the first to fully know about that. We will then provide you a few case studies, and then in closing, we will answer your questions. Now, on the right-hand side of your screen, there is a Q&A button. Please feel free to click that at any time, ask your question, and then at the end of the webinar, Grant and I will answer those questions for you. So what is the problem and why did I start handwritten? Well, I knew when I left the owners of my old company in, in 14 that we're drowning in messages. And now these stats haven't actually been updated since about 2015, 2016. So I imagine the, the state of the industry is only worse, but the average office worker spends about 28% of their time just managing their flood of emails. Now, I think it's probably worse now thanks to all the automated individual drip messages you get saying, just trying to pop to the top of your inbox, want to make sure you didn't miss my last message. Why do people send those messages? Because they aren't being read. Um, text message, emails and texts are, are flooding our inboxes and we just don't have time to read them. They're really getting lost in the shuffle. And when we do get an email or a text message or a tweet or a Slack or a Facebook message or whatever, it's just really becoming noise. Additionally, print material for the most part, and I'm talking glossy print material, is junk. Only about 4% is ever responded to. Um, the rest is ditched. And honestly, I think 4.4% is a high number as I don't open 95, 98% of my uh, material that I receive in the mail. That said, handwritten notes really do cut through the clutter and they do drive results. We see a three times greater response rate or open rate to, uh, for handwritten envelopes compared to print envelopes. We have clients, namely automotive clients that have shared their details with us that see a 27 times 2,700% greater response rate to their handwritten offerings versus printed messages. So what do I mean by this? They send, for years and years and years, these automotive dealerships would send out letters to their clients, inviting them in to be part of a sales event or trade in their car. When they replaced those letters with handwritten notes, they saw a 27 time greater response rate, which is astonishing. When you adjust that for the additional costs involved in handwritten notes, and handwritten notes are more expensive, unfortunately there's no way of getting around that, especially since we put um, first class postage on there, they still get about a seven times greater response rate to handwritten notes, versus, or seven times greater ROI on the handwritten notes versus the print. So it's truly a very effective way to reach your customers and engage them. That said, nobody's doing it. Only about one in 10 brands 
is reaching out to their customers using handwritten notes. This stat comes from our consumer outreach survey results. You can find that survey on our website. Just go to resources and download that. And again, it will be the subject of a webinar. But this creates an opportunity for you all. Um, you know, there's a, a, a marketing guru named Joe Polish, and he's often quoted as saying, the least used inbox is the one at the end of your driveway. And it's more true now than ever before. The handwritten note really stands out because nobody's doing it. So if everybody's pivoting digital, pivot analog to really stand out. Um, just one more quick stat from our survey results. 60% of consumers buy from brands that make them feel appreciated. And the number one way to make a customer feel appreciated is to send them a handwritten note. So um, we feel there's a lot of power here and kudos to you all for being on this webinar. So what is the solution to sending these handwritten notes at scale? Surprise, it's us, you're, on, you're in the right place. Um, we started this company to make sending handwritten notes as easy or easier than sending an email. The reason I say easier is because of all our automations and we will talk about those in future webinars. We were founded in 2014. We've sent over 8 million notes so far. We build our robots in-house and I'll, I have a slide on that shortly. Um, they're, they're built using plastic that we laser cut and 3D print and conveyors and all the rest. And we actually invite you to our facility in Tempe, Arizona and see for yourself. And then uh, this, this stat, this little bar you see at the bottom of the screen, that's actually on our website. But we're proud to announce today, for those that didn't see the blog post, that in addition to these stats, the latest stat is 4,956, which is the number of trees we've planted so far. In April of this year, so just a few months ago, we decided that in addition to being a, uh, a part of the solution to the messaging problem, we also want to be a part of the solution to the environmental problem. So how are we doing that? Well, for every 100 cards we mail, we plant a tree. Um, that comes out to a, a um, replacement rate of 23 trees for every one tree we use, according to the math we did here. So since April of this year, we've planted nearly 5,000 trees, and you, ex you should expect to see many more moving forward. We'll try to publish those numbers as we do it. This is through our partnership with One Tree Planted, a tremendous organization, and I actually give them a shout out later in this presentation as well, but um, I told the team yesterday we're up to 49.56 and we're excited to add about 1,500 trees a month moving forward. So in addition to writing notes, yes, we write the notes. Of course we help you write the notes, but we do a lot more than that. Because of our experience, because we're the oldest player in the industry and the largest player in the industry, and if you look on G2.com, we're the best player in the industry, we help with the planning, we provide the tools, being the website, the iPhone app, the Android app, Salesforce integration, Zapier, and all the rest. We help you with the integrations, so uh, we have dedicated technical staff that can help you integrate our API or our Zapier. We help you obviously with the note fulfillment and any inserts you might wanna send or books you might wanna send, we help you with that. And then certainly we provide you end-to-end -end support. We have a team of two customer support reps and four account managers um, to really assist you here. Three account managers, my apologies, three account managers to really assist you here. So um, you met one of them at the beginning of this webinar. No, four four account managers, I'm losing track here. So anyway, um, the way we do this is with our proprietary robot design. It's been in the works for seven years. Um, we have 175 of them. We bring new machines online all the time. Lately, our work has been on quality assurance where while we do have a dedicated team of quality assurance experts, um, we're actually adding a belt and suspenders approach to the robot too. So the robot will do the first layer of QA before handing it off to the QA experts. And we're using computer vision there that's built directly onto the robot. Um, this also allows us to del deliver notes faster and less expensive than the competition because we do have so many robots and we're able to build them at record speed. If you are in the 3PL space, meaning third-party logistics, 
we would be happy to work with you to put robots in your facility as well. We currently have robot, 35 robots scattered around the world, including several in Australia, uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, other places in Pennsylvania, and then several locations in Arizona. But um, we are, this is a push for us. There's a page on our website that talks all about our robots and how they can benefit your 3PL. So please reach out to us on that. Um, as hopefully most of you know, we have a great user-friendly website that's in constant development. You can choose from hundreds of cards to send at any time. You can design your own. You can send cards in bulk. We now have the prospecting tool. I hope you are aware of that, where you can actually draw on a map and area, do a filter and send notes to both residences and businesses. So there's two tabs there now, where you can say, I wanna send notes to all homeowners or home renters, this is great for realtors, or you can say, I wanna send notes to all dry cleaners in the area or all restaurants. And we partner with a great data provider, one of the most reputable in the, in the world, to power that solution. So you don't even have to have the addresses of who to send to, we take care of that for you. Um, finally, one of the most asked for features were birthday card and anniversary uh, automations. And we have what I think is a best of class system, super sim simple to upload your list of clients. Um, and then we will automatically send a birthday card or an anniversary card to them and you can have different lists. So high net worth clients could get one card or less valuable clients could get another however you want to split it up we make it very easy to manage that and then we do we, we were the first company in the space to leverage ai for note um, crafting and so now while we do continue to have those templates available to you more of our clients seem to be using the ai generative approach to come up with uh, mind-bogglingly good messages very quickly. So if you haven't played with our AI assistant, I recommend you give it a shot. It's just at the bottom of the composition screen. It doesn't cost anything and it's a lot of fun. You can ask it to write limericks or poems and uh, it does that um, with a plum. So as far as writing styles, we have about 35 current styles available for you to choose from. We also have hundreds of styles that celebrities, high net worth individuals, um, et cetera, use uh, on their own. And those are private. And we're happy to do that for you too. It is very much both a, a technical feat and an art form feat. It takes our designers about a week to recreate that style for you. Um, and so there's a $1,000 to $1,500 fee, depending if you're doing block or cursive. Uh, so feel free to reach out to us if you feel that's important. Just so you know, I'm the CEO of the company. I don't even have my own handwriting written. There's a style on the website called Casual David, but it's not me. But uh, if you're interested in doing that, please reach out to us. Um, some things to note about our handwriting. In addition to varying the letters, which we do throughout the documents, so no two O's look the same or L's or Z's, et cetera, we also, work on ligature combinations. So how do two T's look together? Do you cross them with one crossbar or two? How do you connect two O's or do you connect two O's? We take all of that into account in our service too. And then in addition to the characters and the ligatures, we also work on the line spacing and make sure lines are close to being spaced the same, but not exactly spaced the same. We jitter that a little bit. And then humans don't write perfectly straight down the left margin of the page. So we actually help you with that too. We vary that spacing line by line, just a little bit so it's not a perfect line down the page. And then most recently we released our AI to bend every line just a little bit. Now, we don't want the lines to look like they're riding a surf wave. We want them to vary just ever so slightly to create that un that very personal authentic effect and we feel like we've accomplished that so please check out our handwriting um, if you haven't seen it already you can visit handwritten.com click the business tab enter your information there and then we'll send you a full kit with a whole bunch of samples for you to review in addition to handwriting styles we also allow signatures these are quick and easy. They're $250 for us to create. And once we create the signature, you can use it over and over again. Uh, I am just astonished with how these look. You know, I see Casual David and Messy Michael and our handwriting styles over and over again. 
But when I see somebody's personal style or their signature and I actually see it come off the robot, as soon as it drops off the robot, I'm still astonished it was written by a robot. I mean, it looks to me, and of course I'm biased, being the founder of the company, but it looks completely real. So again, I, um, I highly recommend you get one of those sample kits if you haven't seen it already. So we have a ton of tools, I would say the best in the industry for using handwritten notes. Um, in addition to the bulk upload tool and the templates, we have all these integrations to Zapier and make.com, which used to be called Integramat. I highly recommend checking those two tools out if you don't see your CRM or platform listed here, as through Zapier and through Make, we can often integrate with other tools very easily. Um, if you have any questions, please reach out to one of our account management team or customer service team or sales rep that you work with, and we'd be happy to walk through the options for integration. We love when our clients integrate with us because as easy as we can make sending a note, whether it's a bulk upload or just visiting our website and using the AI Assist tool, if you have to do anything these days, it's often too much. People are just too busy and they might do it for a week or two or a month or two at a time. And then it just drops off their calendar because they're just too busy. But if you fully automate it, you've kind of ensured compliance, made sure everybody has that wonderful experience and um, stay consistent from client to client. So we do have the iPhone app and the Android app. I'm not gonna focus on these too much. Hopefully you've checked them out. They are quite easy to use and they incorporate our signatures and your custom handwriting styles. If you create a card on handwritten.com, that card is available within our Android and iPhone app. And one thing I always wanna mention is we do have a handwritten guarantee. If you are not happy with the quality of the notes or our service, we 100% refund your money. If you've done a prepaid plan with us, you have up to 45 days to try out the service, make sure you like it, and if you don't like it for any reason, we are happy to refund the money. So that gives you a, a full month and a half to play with it and ensure you enjoy the service before getting a refund. So I spoke a little bit about new features and I do wanna talk about that here. Um, in the spirit of the late great Steve Jobs, he said, oh, and one more thing. And he always had something super cool for one more thing. So our app does it all. And now it does even more. One of the most frequently asked questions on our website or uh, frequently requested features was folded cards and making custom folded cards without having to work with a member of our design team. Well, I'm very, very proud to announce here we now do have this feature. So I'm going to do my best to demo that for you now. Let me just share my screen and uh grant i just want to confirm everybody can see my screen here correct yeah okay so here um is our you know very friendly handwritten interface and if you go to customizable cards you now have, and we will try to improve these so you can see a little bit better, but we do have the folded full bleed card and the flat full bleed card. This has been here for a while, and now we have the full bleed folded A2 card. And an A2 is just a standard greeting card size like all our other cards. So if I hit customize here, um, you have a bunch of options. Now I've preloaded an image. This is for our partner One Tree Planted where we do the, um, 23 trees for every one tree we use. So I will just put that on the front. On the back of the card, um, I will actually put their logo and I can play with that sizing a little bit. So I will make that big. And then actually you can even put text or a logo on the inside of the card, <clears throat> excuse me. So I will do that as well and have the one tree planted logo on the inside. So you will write on the bottom, have their logo on the top when they open it up. So once you do that, you just hit save card. I will call it. And after a few seconds of saving this high definition card to our system, you will then be able to use it 
just like any other card. You can use it within Zapier. You can use it within Make, Salesforce.com, Shopify, our iPhone and Android app, et cetera. So um, that's one of the really cool features of Handwritten is once you create a custom card, it's available everywhere. So I'm just going to go to take me there and show you our new creation. There it is. I can then look at the back of the card here. And the inside, unfortunately, it doesn't show you the, the image at the top, but the One Tree Planted logo is on the top part of that card. So hopefully, if nothing else, this was a reason to listen to me ramble for um, an hour of your time today. So let's just close that. And we will get back to the presentation. One moment here as I Okay. Okay. So, um, case studies. I do have a few case studies I'd like to share with you. One is an inbox case study for Marley Spoon. Uh, Martha Stewart's involved in Marley Spoon and they wanted to lower their churn rate. And I actually have another example of this coming up. But um, they used us to incorporate a custom note from Martha and the Marley Spoon team. We included that with 25,000 message boxes and an improved retention 5%. So just a quick um, case study there. This is actually one of my favorite case studies. This is a snack company that sends out snack boxes to, uh, use, uh, to their clients. So we actually use it here at Handwritten. We get a box in the mail every month with some great, delicious, nutritious snacks. And uh, we put that on display in the kitchen and then, then employees can take those as they, as they wish. Um, one cool thing about them is they tried, you know, when they'd have an issue and they'd accidentally send the wrong box, or perhaps that box took a little while to get out to the, the customer, they would send that client a second box of snacks, maybe some swag, and include a handwritten apology in that box. And what they found was when they screwed up with a client, that client, and, and that client received the win back, that client actually had a higher lifetime value than clients that were never messed up with in the beginning. So what, what I mean here is if the client had a poor experience and then received a handwritten note and swag, and I'm certainly sure the swag had something to do with it, that customer stayed with the service longer than if they never had a bad experience to begin with. So what is that client doing? Or what is this snack box company doing? They're screwing up with everybody. By screwing up with everybody, they're raising all boats and improving revenue across the board. So this is honestly my favorite case study and the most um, entertaining example of using our service. We work with a number of nonprofits. Unfortunately, while some of our nonprofits we can share on the phone, I'm not allowed to mention any um, on our webinars or website, so I will leave them off here. Uh, but uh, this client uh, helps rebuild communities after disasters. We are an ongoing part of their service where after a disaster, after someone makes a donation, we send out a thank you note um, for the nonprofit and that helps raise redonation rates by 10 to 20 percent. Redonation rates below 50 percent plague the nonprofit industry. And we have a whole uh, presentation to do in a few weeks on that. Um, but this is an example of how to improve redonation rates very easily, just simply using handwritten notes. And it's been effective in the 10 to 20% range. For a jewelry store chain that was opening up a new location, we actually used a company called Enfocus which was a database provider to find a list of uh, high net worth individuals that were living around their new location. We then sent them a personalized invite to come into the store and try the jewelry and, and get to know the brand. If we were doing this today, 
you, we wouldn't have to involve end focus. We could simply have the client go on our website, handwritten.com, and then use our prospecting tool to the same results. This increased store traffic over 10% and coupon redemption rates from this offer were two and a half times greater than any other coupons the brand sends. So again, as these notes get opened and as they get read, you are ending up with response rates substantially higher than any other sort of response rate that the brands would, would expect. For a handbag company, also in the luxury space, um, what we were trying to do was improve the online experience and make the online experience as personal as the in-store experience. And in fact, we surpassed it. Um, you know, the in-store experience, you get the benefit of knowing who your sales rep is. However, that sales rep is often very, very busy and at the end of the day, doesn't have the time to sit there and write you a handwritten note following up with you. They're too busy merchandising or um, closing out the cash register, et cetera. On an online store, you have the opportunity to automate handwritten notes to everybody that buys from your store. And um, we, again, we're gonna have a whole presentation about this, but these stores are then able to upsell and cross-sell offers. They're, they're able to increase loyalty and increase referrals. So please stay tuned for a webinar specifically on Shopify and eTail. Um, for another clothing brand, this one is a bespoke suit manufacturer out of um, Canada. Every year come Christmas, they work with us to send a Christmas card to their highest value clients. And every year they tell us those Christmas cards have the highest redemption rate of coupons included. So they send out coupons through the year through email, but then involve us at the end of the year for a handwritten note coupon. And that coupon has a 16% plus redemption rate. I always wonder why they don't use this more often, but like anything else, they're so used to using email. So uh, we are happy to surprise them year in, year out with their end of year offers. So that's quite exciting for us as well. Um, now what I'd like to do is open it up for questions. I'm gonna have Grant join us here to um, ask any questions if, if, there are so, if there are any. All right, so we did get a few questions along the way. Um, one of them is what is the typical turnaround time for mailers to arrive? And what does our processing time look like? Yeah, that is uh, absolutely a great question here. And sorry as I turn that off. So we tend to mail. Our, our, our turnaround time for mailing is one business day. We are now saying due to our growth and scale, we're doing one to two business days to, for single card orders. Um, the post office, however, has a much uh, more vague timeline of delivery. If you visit the post office's website, USPS gov i believe you can find the turnaround time typically it's two to four days with um, from mailing so i would give all of our orders at least one full week from when you place the order to when it will get delivered now if you're doing big bulk orders when you place those bulk orders you will receive guidance on how many days it might take you but our, our standard is bulk orders under 500. We try to get out next day um, or within two days. If you're doing many more than that, it could add a few days to the order. So if you have any questions, it really boils down to um, how many orders are in queue that day. Well, we do have 175 robots and we're adding more as quickly as we can. Um, you know, these notes often take two to three minutes, up to five minutes to write. And then we do put it, put it through a manual QA process as well. And so that might um, take a day or so, um, you know, so, so please reach out to our, our customer service team if you have any questions about the delivery timelines on your order. Great question. Anything else? Uh, the other question is, um, I know that you briefly touched on it at the beginning of uh, this webinar here, but um, is there an easy way to automate sending cards? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I would say the easiest method for automation, well, there's, there's two. Number one is please check out 
our automatic birthday card campaign system. Um, we will, if we haven't done so already, and uh, you know, pardon my brain fog here, we might have already had a video about that on youtube.com. If we don't have a video, we will add one or stay tuned to our next one of our next webinars where we talk specifically about the birthday card automation. That's the easiest automation you can do. The second easiest automation is using Zapier, and we will have an upcoming webinar on that as well. If you have any questions about automation overall, please do visit, give us a call, and we're happy to walk you through those options. Um, Zapier might sound scary at first, having to involve a, a third party, but I guarantee you anybody can pick up Zapier, and it's dead simple, and you will impress all your friends once you get going. Perfect. Um, one other great question that was brought up is for the online custom card customizer we have, um, does it cost the user anything to create their own custom card? No. Um, now, because we own our own, we run our own print press, we actually have two giant digital printers and all cards come off those two printers, whether it's one of the Red Wagon cards you see or it's one of your own custom cards, we no longer charge a premium for custom cards. They all follow the same flow. So please give it a shot. Let us know what you think of that service. If you have to involve a designer here, uh, so you're not able to just upload some images and do it yourself. If you have to involve a member of our design team, uh, we do offer discounts if you place a big prepay order with a sales rep. Um, otherwise, we're happy to help you, but we have to charge you a per hour fee for the graphic designer's time. Perfect. Um, and then another quick question here was, outside of the typical cards we offer on the website, um, do we do larger uh, larger cards or letters? We do larger cards and letters. Um, a couple things on those. There is an additional time associated with, um, with doing those larger orders. And because of that, there could be some additional cost as well. Um, so we, we have successfully done long letters, page long letters. We also offer trifold cards and other sizes. I would recommend reaching out to your sales reps about that. We do try to standardize on envelope size. So what I mean is if you're doing a folded A2 card, which fits in a roughly a, a four by five envelope or whatever it is, we can do a trifold card that would fit in that same envelope. We try not to stock too many different envelope sizes around here. As far as letters go, we, we have had success with that and we can write out, write out full letters. But I would ask you all to think long and hard, would consumers really believe that you took the time to write them a novel? You know, honestly, in the day and age of Twitter of 160 characters or whatever it is, I would say most people like to keep it short and sweet. And if you start writing um, a full page, well, sure, we're going to charge you a lot for it and make a little money on it. I don't think the effectiveness is going to be there. I think keeping it short, straight, and to the point is a much more effective way in general to serve your need. Perfect. Um, one question that I um, have gotten a few times now is, adding more cards to our card selection page. Um, I do want to um, just share on that one a little bit. Um, we are constantly adding more cards um, to the card selection. Um, we're always open to ideas and sharing those with our designers. Um, you know, definitely if you have an idea that you're not seeing on the website, feel free to reach out um, by visiting um, contact at handwritten.com or using the little message bubble at the bottom of the uh, card selection or ordering screen through the handwritten website. Yeah, absolutely. We, we try to keep our, our card selection fresh and relevant. And when we see a number of realtors using the service, we have real estate cards. If we're seeing um, companies try to hire, we might add employee recognition cards, that type of thing. So we're always trying to stay on trend there and add more red wagon cards to the platform. Um, we do use the term red wagon, that way nobody gives away the secret. We don't put handwritten branding on most of our cards. Some of our less expensive cards, uh, and these will usually be 
um, detailed out will say handwritten on the back, but only if they're at, provided at a discount. So um, we, we do try to, to keep all cards uh, generic in that regard. But yes, we're always trying to add new cards. Reach out, let us know, and who knows, we might feature your card category soon. Perfect. Um, one other um, minor question that I have received as well is placing bulk orders. Um, how how is that process done, and um, you know what are the steps to place a bulk order? Great question. So bulk orders are a huge part of what we do and what our account management team assists with. We are happy to walk you through the process when we assist you. We want to teach you how to fish. We don't want to fish for you. Additionally, if you visit our YouTube channel, and you can find that at the bottom of the handwritten.com homepage, there is a link to our YouTube. If you click that YouTube channel, you will see a brand new video featuring yours truly here, walking you through the two ways to do a bulk upload. So there's kind of the easy way and the way that's a little bit more difficult although not difficult, but a little bit more cumbersome that involves Microsoft Excel. And the video walks through both methods in detail. So I would recommend you check that out. If you're still having problems or you have additional questions, please reach out to our account management team. We're happy to walk you through it. Ideally, this would be on a Zoom or a Teams meeting so we can guide you through the process and get you comfortable with it. Um, at the price point we offer and the price point our clients demand, we do price this as a self-service offering. So we want to get you up that curve, help you out as much as possible, but then eventually have, it, have you do it yourself um, as opposed to have us do it every time, which you never know how that's going to go. Perfect. And then if there's any other questions, um, I believe we have a few more minutes on this. Um, I do see a question here about HubSpot. So right now we do have plans to improve our HubSpot to add HubSpot flows, I believe it's called, or process flows, whatever that is. I'm not a HubSpot expert. Um, that is being worked on currently. However, in the interim, there's a video on YouTube.com. Again, go to the bottom of our website and look for that, um, covering how to use Make which is very much like Zapier, or maybe I do use Zapier to do it. I, th I think I actually might use Zapier to do it, to do your HubSpot automations for you. So that would be HubSpot flows, um, you know, kind of the automated sends as opposed to the one-off sends. We are working with HubSpot for better ways to incorporate this directly into our app. Um, it is on the timeline for us. We're just trying to tick and tie some other features before returning to that. Um, if there's a lead account, I'm just reading here, there's a question about credit sharing. The answer to that is yes, that is on the short-term plan. So the question here is if I have a pool of credits, how do I get that out to multiple users? We are looking to add that too. That is on the very short-term timeline. Hopefully, I would say Q1 of next year, we would have that, that feature. Um, if we need help setting up zaps, please, that's another question from Jonathan, how do we set up zaps? Um, please reach out to us, we're happy to walk you through it. Um, letters, does it cost using the customizer? We answered that. And I think we covered the rest here. So I wanna thank you all again for sitting through our first webinar. I hope there wasn't too much technical glitches as we clicked our way through it. Um, seemed to go pretty smoothly here. I want to thank Grant for leading the charge here and the handwritten team for working every day to make our service as great as it is. We are very open to your feedback on both process, turnaround time, note quality, website features, integrations, et cetera. So please, please reach out to us and let us know what we can do better or, or even better, what you like about us. We always love praise. Who wouldn't? Um, you know, the purpose of this was not to ask for reviews and ratings, but if you like our service, please visit g2.com and let, let everybody know we are a rather small business, so we're always looking for people to get the word out. If you can tell your friends about it, we much appreciate it, and we might just send you a little swag box in return. And, um, you know, guys, please tune in in two weeks for our next 
um, webinar just for real estate. And we look forward to seeing you all then. Right on, everyone. Have a great day, everyone.